If you're looking for cheap Ultimate Team coins, go check out IGSky.com. Links to that will be in the description below. Use the discount code ROSSI for a little bit 5% off. It's got a fully automated service. You get your coins instantly. What more can you ask for? Enjoy the video. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here, and it's going to be episode number 5 of my Football Manager Let's Play Leeds United series. Now, this series is kind of dying a little bit on my channel already, which is disappointing, but I understand a lot of people don't want to see this. The views have obviously gone down a little bit, the likes, targets are not being met, etc, etc. But I still want to carry it on, I want to soldier through and see how well I can do with Leeds, and hopefully it picks up. I know the people who do like the series, I really do appreciate that. But there's a number of people just coming over here to, to basically hate on the series. I don't understand why people do that. It's, it's, it's labelled as a Football Manager video. If you don't like Football Manager, it's pretty simple. Just don't watch it. Um, I always thought that was pretty common sense. But I'm going to have a little word to you about the random hybrid situation. I, I did say the random hybrid would be my main series. And it is my main series. The problem I did have was unfortunately with my Elgato. And um, obviously recording this... It's not using the Elgato, it's using a, a screen capture device. So um, that's the reason for the slowness on the random hybrid recently. My Gao, I need to get a new one, and I'm looking to do that in the new year, hopefully. And um, it's become difficult for me to um, do videos on the random hybrid. And when I do do them, um, I don't appreciate when YouTube mugs me off. And I uploaded one yesterday. It's probably been a late upload now, hopefully. Um, if not, it'll be out today. Where um, I uploaded it, and it cut off the end of the video. And it really irritated me, so I had to re-edit that because I, I accidentally deleted the file, which is really disappointing. But I'll move over to this episode, I'll, I'll speak to that about another time, but that's the reason for it. I do, I do apologise for a little bit of the slowness of the random hybrid, but that is my main series, it always will be. And um, it definitely will carry on. But we're going to carry on with this series for today. Daily at 3.30 every single day. And uh, we're on the back of a game where we lost to Brentford. We've got Reading coming up, then Sheffield Wednesday, all games which... Could go either way, so I'm not too sure uh, where they're going to go. Looks like Rudy Austin's going to be banned for the game as well, which is not great news. But we want to get there as quick as possible. And I'm going to skip to it now, so it'll be right on game day. Let's do this. Okay, so we are at the game against Reading now. And uh, just one change we're going to have to make enforced on us with a suspension for Rudy Austin. We're going to put Tomasco Bianchi in that CDM position. And uh, we're going to go into the game with this kind of team. It's a pretty good... Got a couple of injuries, which is annoying. Tielmans is out, Warnock, and of course, Rudy Austin is out as well. But apart from that, the team played okay in the game against Sunderland and then not a great game against Brentford. I think it was where he lost 1-0, but they absolutely dominated that game. But we're going to have to try and do something this game, see if we can get back into winning ways and um, go from there, basically. So let's see how this game happens. We're home, so we're expecting big things. Billy Sharp's on form right now. And if we can get him as much of the ball as possible, that'll be pretty cool. But they've started on the attack here, and we've had to do some defending already. But here we go. Let's get some movement. Let's get some attacks going. It'll be nice. We're home, and they've started well by the looks of it. Four shots to two on target. But then we come back into it a little bit. But it looks like they've got an attack here, and they're going to get the ball in with Blackman. If I just wait at that... Oh, my God. They scored. And it's a guy which I've got... On my Leeds one when I'm in like 2020 and I did a YouTube video on it. But we've instantly replied. And it's Gaetano Barardi with a good finish. A left back or the right back go left back for this game. Has got himself in the box and around. And he scored himself a goal. It's a fair play to him for getting forward. Billy Sharp now on the ball finds Adrian. He finds Murphy. We need to keep this ball alive. And again, we've lost it in midfield. It seems to really be a bit big problem. We've won it back and as a punt forward. Federici is going to kick this one forward. If he messes this up, it would be pretty nice. And it looks like he might. And Adrian into Grealish. Grealish. Adrian and Billy Sharp has scored and he's onside. We're winning 2-1 in this game now after some good little bit of pressure. We've turned it up a little bit and it'll be nice to go in with a lead at halftime, which is exactly what we're going to do. Good half. Good half just then. I know we have conceded. It was a poor goal to concede, but... um. We're on top now and hopefully we can push forward and get maybe get another one and just seal the game. It would be nice, but... Oh, Jack Grealish picked up an injury here. It's a poor time to get an injury when we're good on the momentum. But Soli Ducara, as you know, Antonucci is going to come on for him. And um, hopefully that's not too disrupting and we can still push on in this game. We need another goal. I feel as if we need another goal. We need to at least get one more goal because we know what our defending's like at times. So we could do with that goal right now. And um, Or I would like it. Just end 2-1. That's fine. You know, just peter out. Just uh, end the game. End the game right now would be pretty sweet. But here we go. We're pushing on into the minutes now. We're into like the 75th minute. We're still going strong. There's another highlight, but it looks like it's up our end. Antonucci finds Adrian in the box. Pierce just sit, that, sit on the ball there. Just sit down. Jesus Christ. 80 minutes gone. We need this win so bad. You have no idea. It's everything to us for momentum. It's for league position. We need the three points. Just end the game. It might have done it here. 
And Murphy almost scored another one then, but is that going to end the game? Yes! We picked up the win at home to Reading, a must-win game almost. I really shouldn't be doing that because I keep messing up my bloody team. But that pushes us up to 17th position, and it just looks better now with some points. You know, 10 is a is okay return from that. It's a really poor return from 10 games. But we've won the Reading game. Let's push over into the next game against Sheffield Wednesday. Boom. Okay, so we are back and we are now at the game against Sheffield Wednesday at home. Now, Rudy Austin is back. I put him on the bench briefly, but we will put him back into the team. He's got a good average rating. Morale's getting a tiny bit better. We've still got a couple of players who are not <laughs> ideal on the old morale there. It's abysmal, actually. I'm not sure what top of Berardi. I think it might be the fact that I wasn't playing him. But he is in the team now. He actually scored. Did he score? Yeah, Bradley did score in the last game. And um, we are going to go into this game against Sheffield Wednesday now. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can bitch slap their titties. They're playing five across the midfield. Nuaha up front on his Todd. Uh, we've got Billy Sharp up front on his Todd. So we're hoping that Billy beats the new who, whatever he's called. I keep calling him Nuaha, but that's a Noaha. I don't know his name, dear lord. It's a Sheffield Wednesday striker. Stevie May is the guy I would have played up front, but who gives a shit about that? Billy Sharp has got an offside already, but we've started the game quite brightly, and a cross will come in hopefully here, and it does, but it looks like it's going to be cleared. Actually, Murphy has a shot there, just blocked off. Billy Sharp again! Right place, right time. What a play he's turning out to be for us after dropping Antonucci. Felt bad, but Billy Sharp has just been absolutely awesome for us, and Pierce sends it back out to Grealish, gets it back in there, and Pierce was apparently offside. It's a bit of a strange one. <laughs> Jason Pierce offside, but Billy Sharp on the edge of the area here. Keeps it alive, but Already on the ball now, Adrian. And we're going to get something from here. That's a horrible hack there from Samedo. And uh, he's actually going to get a red card. Wow, okay. That's good. That's good. We can score from the free kick. That'll be even better. So Adrian is lining up for this one. Are we going to get this free kick or is it going to be the end of the highlight? He seems to be taking a while over this. Maybe it's a little bit of argy bargy off the pitch. With a red card situation. Maybe he's gone with a headbutt. Adrian smashes it over the bar. But they've had a red card. And um, that could be good. That could be good for us. Let's go on and win this game now. That would be absolutely brilliant. Come on. Let's keep the momentum up. We've got a chance here of Adrian free kick. And he'll score this time. Adrian with his fifth goal of the season. What a player he's been in that centre mid position. Seems to be doing him well. And um, hopefully we don't concede though. Because a clean sheet would be nice. Nice tackle in the middle there from Austin. Barardi's on a yellow card. Might be looking into bringing him off. We don't want to even out with a red card situation. Billy Sharp on the turn there. Another happy act from Zarate. This could be in trouble here. It's a yellow card. Normally when they show highlights of players getting cards. It's normally red. But Austin to Adrian. Barardi on the wing here. Back into Austin. Good little bit of play. Brilliant stuff. And Billy Sharp puts us 3-0 up in this game. Now what a team goal that was. Very impressive stuff from Leeds. My team. Billy Sharp. It's got two goals. Why is his goals come? That's better. That's where I want it. A goals and assists. So I thought Grealish scored a hat trick again. It's like, no, he's got a hat trick of bloody assists, which is just as good. Fantastic stuff from the on loan Aston Villa man. And uh, we're going to go into the second half of this game, but we are very happy with our first half display. But we had the same situation against Birmingham, albeit I don't think they had a man sent off. We did have the same situation against Millwall, first game of the season where they did have a guy sent off. So we've had a guy injured. And it's Berardi. So it's kind of lucky in a way because he was looking likely to get the red card, if anybody. We're going to make a couple of changes here. We're going to bring on Kasper Schloff for um, Adrian. We want to save his fitness. Uh, we're going to chuck him in there. We're also going to bring on Lewis Kirk. I think it's time. And uh, Luke Murphy is going to take the, take the hit there. So a couple of substitutions just to get ourselves going. And um, we're about 60 old minutes in the game, so I was going to do that anyway. But here we go. Can we finish the game on a high? Goal scoring is everything. Goal difference is everything. They picked up another injury there. I think that's their second of the game. I think they've had a very card and a couple of injuries. So it's a very feisty match at Ellen Road against obviously a, a rival in Sheffield Wednesday. But here we go. We're going to end the game quite quite quickly by the looks of it. Time seems to be running out for us. But we have won the game. And that is an absolute joy. Back-to-back -back wins after some horrible... Um, well, Cook's had a smash forward there. But that is the end of the game. 3-0. And like I was saying, back-to-back -back wins after a little bit of a rough patch. But now, well, look, things are looking so much better. 14th place. And looking up instead of down is always a big thing. Billy Sharp has come up absolute trumps for us recently but it looks like we've got a little while to our next game I think it might be an international break or something so I'll skip you to that next game and if anything important comes up on the way I'll obviously cut back and show you what goes down but we'll meet you at the other game let's do this okay guys we are back we've got the game against Rotherham and that took ages to get to I hate the, the, the way how long it takes between games so I thought I'd skip it for you guys so it's a little bit easier I'll show you the schedule 
Not going to lie, we're on a little bit of a good run, but I don't want to jinx it because it could end because we had a little bit of a good run a couple of times. And um, it's a game against Rotherham, which again is a game possibly we should win, but it's away from home. We're not on the best kind of run all season, but like I said, we are in good form currently, so that could become good for us. But we're going to go into the game, have a quick look at some of the things. Grealish, we're not going to... Oh... 85% fitness is, is low. I don't want to. I don't want to play him. But he's been such a key player for us. It's a big loss. We're gonna have to put Antonucci in the team. Stephen Warnock is coming back from injury, so that's a good sign. He's not 100% fit yet, though, so I will let him fully recover. Because if you're coming straight back from an injury, it's difficult. If you try and play him when they're not 100% fitness, because it could, you know, backfire on you a little bit. We've also got Liam Cooper. Um, I can't remember if he was injured or anything, but we're going to put him back on the bench. Actually, we're going to leave the Fabra on the bench. I don't think Lee Cooper was anything, really. And we're going to go in with that team. So, we'll give Berardi another game and Stephen Warner can come in when he's a little bit more fitter. But a big loss today in Grelish. They've got Bessio playing. What is the bet right now that Luciano Bessio will score against me? I can almost guarantee. But if we can start this game quite well, because we haven't started games quite well recently, that would be awesome. And three wins in a row would be unbloody believable. Can we pull it off? It's there to be seen. Antonucci needs to give me a reason to put him back in the team. So it would be nice if he gets on the score sheet. Or, Oh my god! As I say that, Antonucci smacks one in from outside the box. Dear lord, what a finish. A bit of horrible defending. And Antonucci rifles one home. Holy shit, good start to the game. And Billy Sharp hasn't even scored yet. So we can got that to look forward to so far. Because he is scoring consistently well. And um, good start to the game. They're going to have a little attack now, possibly. Unless we can win the ball back. But it looks like they're going to get something on the ball here. No, we've won it back. Antonucci is on the yellow card, though. He finds Murphy into Billy Sharp. Billy Sharp should have scored. But he puts it wide. But we're creating chances and creating highlights. So that's a good sign. And if we can peter this out to halftime with the win, that would be awesome. But I spoke too soon, have I? No. Silvestri gets his mittens on that one. Thank you very much, Silvestri. Don't... Yeah, just kick it out nicely. Good ball to Sharp, actually. But they have won this back. But then that ball's not good. And Antonucci. Oh, Antonucci could have literally sealed his place in the team next game if he put that one in. But we're going to get a corner here. But it comes to nothing. And Adrian picks up the pieces. And with a little bit of passing display on the edge of the, well, the halfway line even. But it looks like we're going to take that into half time. We've got a lead here. And uh, things are looking okay right now. But second half is always where we go to shit. So uh, hopefully something can happen here. We can get ourselves a nice little lead. Possibly one of the ball back. And Billy Sharp's away here. He gets it around. Billy Sharp has scored for 2 0. Holy shit. Yeah, what a start to the half. Tenth goal of the season for Billy Sharp in all competitions. Good return from here. And um, good start to this game. But then we've won the ball back again here. But they look like they're going to attack here. And they might get a goal back here. Luciano Bessio has scored. And what did I tell you? His seventh goal of the season has unbelievably put them back in the game. And please, 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 please don't mess this up. We're in a good position at 2-0. But it always seems to be the way. Can we get another goal from a corner here? It's going to come back to him from Adrian. It's fallen to Murphy. And Billy Sharp. But Adrian on the rebound. Puts 3-1 up in this game. And that is absolutely awesome. He's scoring a lot of goals from centre mid position I think it was a good idea putting him back from Cam into centre mid and going a little bit more defensive and hit him on the counter attack but they're going to get a cross in here we have slightly cleared it but they're going to get the ball back in unless Antonucci can win it and he slightly won it but that's looking a bit dangerous because he's on that yellow car but they got the ball and Bessio Bessio luckily for me is missed um We've got a chance here of Adrian again. Finds Barrecto. Finds Murphy. Good little bit of pain. Antonucci has put himself... I, how can I take him out now? He's got two. We've got an unbelievable uh, turn of events here. 4-1 away from home at Rotherham. And um, the ball is at the edge of their area. Bessio looking likely to score there, but he's offside. And I don't think I actually went in the back of the net anyway. So that's good for us. But so far, so good in this game. 4-1 away from home is never a bad thing. But they've got the ball here with Bessio. Good little bit of pass. This player from them and Young on the wing here. Whips it in. Luciano Bessio scores again against me, the bastard. That's two for Bessio now. Free kick from Austin off the ball. What a game this is. Unbelievable scenes. Still time left in this game now for something else to happen. But we're looking quite comfortable even though we have conceded two. And uh, that's a worry actually. We are conceding far too many goals for my liking. Uh, but if we're winning games... I've not got too much of a problem. So hopefully we can seal this win. And that will be three wins in a row, which is absolutely unheard of. And momentum going into quite a big game against Norwich. If we can get uh, the game finished here, that would be pretty sweet. We've lost the ball then. We have won 4-2. Extremely happy with that performance. And Antonucci with two goals. Not sure why he keeps doing that. I want the goals over there. But Antonucci getting himself two goals and giving all reasons to be putting into the team. We're up to 13th now. Just looking so much better for us right now. And we've got a quick fire game against Norwich. And we've got one against Wolves. I'll finish the episode after the Wolves game. So let's get to our next game. Boom! Okay, guys. We are back at the Norwich game finally. And, um... We're going to change our team a little bit. We are going to take out Mirko Antonucci. Even though he picked up two, I feel as if Grealish is just a more threat. 
down that wing and he's a better average rain. But Antonucci will probably get a run in the game if we're not, you know, doing well or we need a little bit of help. But Berardi is going to keep his place over Warnock just for a little bit time longer because we don't really want to change a winning team too much. And um, hopefully we can find our way in this game, even though they are rocking with a strange formation. But they're higher up in the league. They're doing quite well. And um, it'll be a difficult game. And I will, honest to God, take a draw if it was offered to me right now. But uh, hopefully we can get something from the game. It'll be quite nice. We've got a chance here, possibly. And Tati comes in hard. And um, he's going to get himself a yellow card there, I do believe. Did he actually? I'm not too sure if he did. Um, but the ball goes back pretty sharp. Almost nicks in there. Unfortunately, he didn't. Because we know fully well if I was against me, that's a goal. So that's fantastic news. they got an attack here. And Turner is in the box. But we've cleared it when really we probably had a little bit more on than that. That wasn't ideal from Berardi. And it uh, goes back to Silvestri with a poor clearance from him. Lee straight back to Norwich. And they're going to run down the wing here of Bennett, House and Hulalan. And, oh, a double save. I think that was off the post originally, maybe. But they've got himself a free kick. Some poor defending from me. And Hooper, again, big chance for them. But Silvestri picks up the pieces. And, um... It's looking okay at the moment, but they're looking more likely to score. But Billy Sharp may be away here. If we can get something away from here, that'd be awesome. Billy Sharp finds Murphy. Murphy, big chance. And Gris keeps it alive, but a big chance in the game. Didn't quite score from it, but at least we're creating something. That's good to see against a Norwich team who really um, are definitely on better form than us this season. So, okay first half. Haven't conceded, haven't scored. So, um, if you don't score, obviously don't concede. That's rule number one. Uh, but they're looking all right this start of this first half. They've, really had, they've had nine shots, but the, the good thing is they've had one on target, which means obviously they've got to hit the target to score. That's common sense. Um, but so do we. We've only hit once on the target as well. But we're not looking as likely. We've had four shots. Uh, we're going to leave it a little bit late. It looks like they just picked up a corner. That might be a bad decision. Unless that's me picking up a corner. I don't actually know. But Mirko Antonucci is going to come off a of Grealish. We don't want to put him too much into the limelight after just coming back from injury. And the corner comes in from Redmond and is saved, luckily, because sometimes that can backfire on you when you go make a sub as soon as they're on the attack and on the highlight. But it's 71st minute. It's another poor clearance from the goalkeeper. We're giving the ball way too easily to Norwich here. And uh, hopefully we can get the ball back here. They're only passing around the midfield. And we kind of half won it, but not fully. And our grabber's running in on my defender. And another big save from Silvestri. We've needed Silvestri today. His kicking's not been ideal. But his all-round goalkeeping stats have just been there. That's a big tackle from Barikta. Doing his defensive duties of a left winger. And um, again, it looks like they're going to get another attack here. Hulalan keeps it alive. It's going to go down the way to Olsen. But Silvestri picks up the pieces again. And time is running out. But is there time for one last chance for one of these teams? Or a couple more chances. Actually, there isn't that. There is quite a bit long left. And they're going to get the ball in the box. Austin does clear it. But again, it comes straight back from Norwich. And we're struggling to keep it away. And there goes Graben. And he nicks a goal in the 78th minute. We held on for so long with some severe pressure coming our way but unfortunately it looks like it's come to no avail and it looks like they're going to pick up the win here unless they can get another goal here will they grab and scores again and that is unfortunate it's a foul actually so that one has been chalked off um a foul on Silvestri handball Silvestri how does that make sense <laughs> but um okay it looks like Tommy is going to run out on us unfortunately and um, looks like our run has come to an end at Norwich. So that is very unfortunate. Only a 1-0 loss, though. We can take a little bit of heart from that. But the fact that it is only 1-0. And they are a team who's up there and they're threatening. They've only lost once all season. They've won eight of their games. So the fact that it's only 1-0 is, I suppose, an okay... Uh, the other. Uh, and it's an okay loss, if that makes sense. We didn't want to lose it heavy. It, you know, it wouldn't have been great for confidence. We've lost 1-0 to a team where... They're going to be pushing this year. But Wolves is a game which we really need to go into looking to win it. And um, I'm not going to bother skipping because it's literally only a couple of days away. And it seems to be going quite fast. But some of the days do go quite slow. And that's why I'm skipping them for you so you don't have to get all the boring shit. But it's going to be our final game of the episode. So will we win on a high? So far, we've had... A win against Reading, a win against Sheffield Wednesday, a win against Rotherham. Unfortunate loss against Norwich. And now we've got the game against Wolves and then Man United after that. But that'll be the start of the next episode. So will Wolves cause us any troubles? We are home for this game. And our home form has been okay in the recent weeks. So let's go into the game. Will we get the win? But Riley's injured. So that gives me a reason to put Stephen Warnock back in the team. So I will go ahead and do that. Uh, apart from that, is everyone looking okay fitness-wise? Goals are flying in. In this attacking position, yeah, we're looking all right there. I'm going to go with that. So let's hopefully, come on, please, just just win this game, and it'll be so much better than the start of the episode on the position and just the overall morale. We were down at the start of the episode. We had a bad episode last episode. I've said episode a lot of times, and um, hopefully we can win this game though. So at home, 
which is a plus. We've got very good players in our team. I'm very happy with our squad's kind of overall um, situation. Warnock puts a ball in there. Bellucci picks up that pieces. And it looks like we're going to start an attack here, hopefully. Murphy to Adrian. Murphy back to Austin. Nice little bit of play. And Barrick picks up the Murphy. What a goal that is. Holy shit. Luke Murphy from miles out. Looked like it might have been with outside of his boot. I have no idea, really, because it's a little bloody circles. But it looked like that happened. And uh, damn, we're 1-0 up in this game. And that is a fantastic goal to put us 1-0 up in this game. It doesn't look like that is the story of the game though it looks very even by the stat shown on my screen our walls could possibly come back into this game just yet but we're still hopeful foul from Adrian gives them a free kick as you can see they've had the same amount of shots as us same amount of possession but we're kind of beating them on shots on target and obviously that one vital goal was one of them shots on target and Luke Murphy picked that one out of the back of the net you bastards right we're going to make some changes here Grealish is going to come off again for Antonucci we're going to make that sub one more time and um, hopefully that wasn't a bad move but Grealish gets the ball up here and he's lost it so that's looking like a good move already and they're getting in behind and Lingard big save big save from Silvestri they've got a corner though will we be able to defend the corner Hopefully we can, but they get it in, and it's up in the air, and Jacob's on the ball again, the cracker. Is he going to get it away? The ball is just in and outside the box here, and Rudy Austin gives away a cheap free kick, and Jacob's over the bar it goes, which I think it might have been saved by Silvestri. obviously has been, because they've got himself a corner, but Lucio with a big clearance away, and Billy Sharp now. Can we get something here? Not really, and time is running out for Wolves, but it's looking, it's looking close. It could come down to the wire this game, but we've got that one goal, which is becoming key in this episode so far that we get the first goal in the game but are we going to see it out time is running out they've got some a cheap corner right at the end here can we get this clear with murphy murphy goes in hard and a big pump forward and sylvester will pick up that one do not do not kick it out badly sylvester keep hold of that ball keep hold of that ball kicks it right to barikta who finds billy sharp back to barikta now he's going to cross this one in the billy sharp was looking for a goal there didn't manage to get it adrian's pressuring the defender to clear it. And he's managed to find jacobs and the highlight ends there where is it going to end this game We've got three minutes of added on time is this going to be the final highlight? It's definitely going to be the final highlight. Will it end in the goal or will it end in tears for Wolves fans? Let's have a look. We've won the ball back. That's a good moment to win the ball back. Billy Sharp, we've won that game. And what a win that has turned out to be. This episode has not been bad at all. We're up in the 13th position. And I'm very, very happy going into a big, 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 big game. Away to Manchester United in the Capital One Cup. But that is going to be... For the next episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. If you have a like, it would be absolutely fantastic. See if we can hit 200 likes. That would be beautiful. I'll leave you with the... The, um the league table and the situation we're in. Let's have a look at some of the stats actually before we go. Well, who's top goal scorer in the league? It's actually Lewis Grabben with 10 goals. And uh, Naki Wells is up there. Have we got anybody in anything? Shots on target ratio. Billy Sharp. That's an impressive stat to have. I like that. Um, anything else in here? We've got distance covered. Nice to see. Adrian and Sam Byram are running the show. Johnny Halston winning it by my yellow cards. Rudy Austin's picked up seven yellow cards. Holy shit. That's not, that's not a good stat to have. Key tackles. Key passes, Adrian is top of that. Key pass, key tackles even. Belushi is in and around that one. So that's pretty darn good. You know, it's going all right so far. And um, I'm pretty happy with how things are going at the moment. Because considering the last episode, we were down here somewhere. We're pretty much mid-table now. And it's a good kind of position to be in, even though it's still quite tight everywhere. But that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. If you haven't enjoyed it, like, it would be absolutely fantastic. Subscribe if you're new around here. I'll catch you next time. And uh, bye bye Ooh. Popping Danny Sturridge while we are randy and <laughs> i don't know why i said that but okay danny sturridge is of course a liverpool player and i think i've got one in my club let's just double check am i i do indeed the marco royce is definitely somewhere in my club we've also got the preset ones what else are we going to get in these packs here i'm going to skip this one. Oh yes fucking get in lads we got ourselves mario gertzer and the lord himself we got the lord